On a show like Singles Inferno 2, it isn't surprising that producers will edit clips to portray a certain narrative that could be totally different from the truth. Recently, Lee Nadine sat down with Elle Singapore and shared some unheard stories from the series. One of the biggest crimes on the show was that Nadine didn't seem to find a connection with anyone when the show started. Yet, after seemingly not falling for anyone, netizens believed this changed after the arrival of Kim Jin Young. When Jin Young entered the island, all eyes seemed to be on him, and he made a regular at Paradise. Along with Shin Sul Ki and many more, Lee Nadine was seemingly made out also to be smitten with him. It seems like that wasn't the reality, as Nadine revealed that while watching the show, she seemed to be in love. Yet, unlike her portrayal, her emotions weren't intense, and the reality suited her personality more, and she wished to have shown more authenticity. In particular, along with the dates that seemingly made them look closer than was true, one scene truly gained mixed reactions from netizens. In the final episode, when the contestants had to pick their final choice, Jean Young had fans excited when he approached Nadine. Just to break netizens' hearts by turning down Nadine after tricking everyone and walking to Shin Sul Ki. After the scene, netizens called out Jean Young on his behavior, believing it was one of his many red flags during the show. Yet, it seems like maybe it didn't impact Nadine's true feelings. In the same interview, Nadine revealed her response to Jean Young when he approached her that wasn't shown. Although it seems like a small part that was missed, it could have changed the entire narrative of the finale. Nadine seemingly knew that Jean Young would pick Sulky, showing that their relationship wasn't as strong as portrayed. Of course, it created dramatic television, which is always the aim of shows, 